Power 92. We are number one in the streets. That's right, Real Radio, we are back in the building. Your boy DJ Ferris, the Midwest Mix Show DJ of the Year. My homie DJ Nathan's in the building. I got my little bro, man, G Herbo, man. What's the deal? Yo, what up, big bro, man? You already know I'm just chilling. Hey, man, I, I see you all over the place, hitting the road, man. How's how's the life out there, man? All over the road, man. It's it's good, man. You know, I'm really I'm really just working, bro. Just trying to stay humble, keep on getting better. You know what I'm saying? I'm still working on my debut album. You feel me? And other mixtapes and projects I got coming. So. Really just, every time I'm on the road, just trying to master my production, bro. I look at it like strictly work now, it ain't even fun no more. No more fun, huh? strictly no more business. Fun, just business. Bro. So, so as opposed to when you first came out to now, how do you, you know, you approach it? How do you approach it now, the game? Um, just really learning that thing, you know, a bunch of learning curves, trying to stay sharp on my toes on the business side, as well as the music, you know, because that's just important. So really, that's what I be focused on. My, my business, you know what I'm saying? And really with me being an independent artist, I gotta be focused on it if I'm still trying to, you know, strive to be successful or whatever I'm trying to do, just really master my craft, trying to get better little by little. True, That's true. how I'm taking it right now. now. Now, even though we all know you ain't no freshman, they, they put you in the 2016 XXL freshman class. How you feel about that? It's, um, it's still an honor, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm still humble by it just because, you know, I. People I grew up looking to, like artists that I grew up listening to, Ice Cubes and the Snoops and everybody, you know what I'm saying, being a part of that legacy and the whole double XL freshman, just being a part of the cover. Yeah. I was humbled by that, but you know, it's just like I said, just trying to get better. I don't really look at no stepping stone or no milestone in my career and dwell on it. I'm just trying to keep going. I, I heard a little something. I heard before I heard what was rapping. He he thought he had some skills with, with the with the rock. What's up with that, man? man I I ain't gonna lie. That that's what that was our first love, bro. Like with yeah. everybody was hooping me, baby. You know everybody that I, I be around. That's what he's doing. I still I ain't gonna lie. I still be wanting to get in the gym in my spare time. I be trying when I'm in the cr- at the crib or out of town or something. I, I heard you I pretty can't. good. Yeah, it don't go nowhere though, bro. I ain't gonna lie. It don't go nowhere, man. Like, you know I still get in there and do my thing. Nah, we Anybody want to try to put me to the test? Oh, know? yeah, you get some of these rappers' I, money? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. That, <laughs> I ain't going to say no names, though. Ooh. But, you know. <laughs> hey, it's all good. We know they out there. Everyone, every rapper think they can ball anyway. Yeah, yeah. everybody, but no, I ain't going to lie. You know, Chicago, we a whole nother breed. Like, you know, that was the first rap. Like, if you couldn't hoop, man, you couldn't even be around. Like, True. It was really a square if you couldn't play if basketball. You can, ball, if you, you couldn't ball, ball. I, I wasn't a great baller, but I tried my <laughs> Hey, I played football. You had to be able to do something. Like I, I was too little to be a Some type of sport. Yeah, you had to do something. I, I, I feel that, man. Is there anybody that you haven't worked with that you want to work with in the future? Um, uh, I mean, yeah, like I I really want to, I try to, you know what I'm saying? I try to challenge myself and just record different music. So I probably. I look forward to doing a record with like Rihanna, you know, yeah, somebody, you know what I'm saying? Like, so I could really just challenge myself. Yeah. Oh yeah, that, that would be nice. You yeah. and Ye turning up a good South Side yeah. joint. We're gonna have to make that, I'm gonna have to make that happen. I'm gonna make that phone call for that one right there. Uh, another thing, let me thank you for um, participating. We put together that Finito remix, just, yeah. just us oh, yeah, and man. phone calls. You know, that was super big. I go to my mixtape right now to this day. You know that thing's got a we million clicks, dog. Over a million clicks. Yeah, we still. I know everybody. Every everybody who on that still performing right now at they shows. You know, of course, like even when we ain't together, we performing that coming out to it. And either we coming out or ending it because it's gonna turn and right that, up. And that's crazy. That all came from a phone call and, and everybody just getting on the same accord. You know what I'm saying? What nothing serious. Well, we had we had a beat that I snatched off the internet. You know what I'm saying? But it still was hot and, and it's still everybody out there. later. It was probably done in like weeks. Yeah, it was tops between everybody out there. Still getting downloaded to this day. I gotta thank you, man. That thing is over a million strong. But you got this new mixtape, killing the game, right? <laughs> Strictly for my fans, man. Why, why that yeah, title? Bro. Um, strictly for my fans. The title was really just because, you know, I ain't dropped in over a year, really, mm-hmm. with me dropping um, Ball Like I'm Kobe, that being my last project. I ain't dropped in a year. I still been going on the road, you know what I'm saying, as far as shows and just my buzz and my brand as a whole has still been growing, you know what I'm saying, just rising organically. So I felt like I owed the fans that. That's why I really put that title together. And like I said, I've been working on my album and other stuff I'm doing. 
So I got a bunch of music. It ain't like I was, you know what I'm saying, neglecting them. You know, a lot of times yeah. your fans feel like you neglecting them, you know, so that's why I put that out, though. And I wanted it to be something special, you know, for the fans. So it's getting the attention it needed, though. And I'm, I'm really just humbled by that, you know, like, I feel like I just want my fans to see growth every time I drop something, like, for them to feel like I'm getting better and better. And that's what they... Well, bro, I'm telling you, growth, you got it. Right now, this new joint that, that's, like, on fire, got um, both the radio stations jumping all over it, so you know it's crazy. Of course, we did it first, and yeah. they following what we oh, do. Yeah, but man, you know. but pull this pull-up joint, what, what, what made you come up with that joint? Um, I mean, I really came up with it just in the studio, random night. I, Kid Marquise was in there with me, mm -hmm. and he pulled the studio. You know, like I'm, I'm a music connoisseur, so I was already familiar with the sample when he played it. And then I don't know, I was just feeling it, so I just dropped it. You know, just random in the studio, and it picked up. Somebody actually leaked the song. We ain't even drop it on our own. They leaked it, and it just started getting all that attention. So we put it out regularly, shot the video, all that. You know, so somebody, somebody knew it's, something. It's going crazy. And, and as far as you, you right now that I think of it. <laughs> Cause I didn't look on on the, on the gram and see you singing some wild stuff. I'm like, really? You know about this? <laughs> Did, when you get that, like, from your family, was your aunties? When you was a shorty, a lot of people they play a lot of soul music or what? Yeah, man. I mean, my aunties, my mama, she play a lot of music. So soul music, she be trying to tell me the sample stuff. I ain't gonna lie, like a lot of samples, she be trying to give me ideas. But just growing up around my aunties, my uncle, you know what I'm saying? I mean, he did music. He passed away. K Tone. Feel me? So he used to do music, and I, I, I've been around him. That's how I really learned how to rap. I knew how to rap even when I was hooping. I just wasn't ever taking it serious. So mm -hmm. I always had like a music sense in me before I even started doing music. So when I catch something, especially when I feel it, I'm going to just jump right on it, even if I got to challenge myself to do something different, because everybody know that ain't even really my style of music. But. I was totally surprised. <laughs> I, I, hey, I was shocked, but it is good, bro. The song that you wear around, you know what I'm right. saying? You did some. You got these chicks going crazy no, with picking this up, joint, though, man. Right? It's picking up crazy. I ain't gonna lie, like it's super picking up. Every time I drop it for the females, they just turn up at the shows. Mm. They be I, making me feel good. I, I, like, I think you need to listen to Mama a little bit more. Mama know them samples. <laughs> Mama might have some yeah, gems. No, she, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, she be really trying to give me a lot of sample ideas. You know, I ain't even going to say it on the radio because somebody might jump yeah, on Yeah, yeah, somebody jack For real, she be giving me a lot of stuff. Listen to Mama. A lot of sample ideas. Listen man. to the city. Now he just didn't just... Yeah, I ain't going to lie. I'm seeing it now. They, I'm seeing females just playing in it. Now they, they playing the, the, the control record that I just dropped on the other one. So I, I'm, I'm trying to get some little female attention, man. Trying to show them I got a little sauce too. Nice little video flavor. too. <laughs> nice video. Yeah. Good looking, big bro. Nice leading lady man. in that video too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, I, I give you, I give you props. That's a, that's a good move right there. I'm just trying, man. From the you crib, know, too. Trying. From the crib. He didn't I'm go just to LA. To right, I ain't go nowhere he got else. A LA, New crib. York. None of that. It's all to the good. You working on something right now? Back with your brother, y'all both went off, did y'all thing. Yeah. Now y'all back. What y'all got going on? Uh, me and Bibby, I actually just left the studio, like straight from the studio right here. Then we finna go back. Um, we working on our, our our album, really, like you know what I'm saying, our first really um du duo album. You know what I'm saying, me and Bibby. Uh, strip. No, no, no limitations. I'm thinking about strictly for my fans. No mm -hmm. limitations, though, man. It's really like our. Prass possession, cause you know, we, we started off together, you feel me, rapping together, but we was never a group, always solo artists. All the songs we was doing was just really us playing around and official. They was pulling all our songs, making compilation tapes of it. So this really our first body of work where we lock it in the studio, you know what I'm saying? Focus and finna just put it out as a real project, you know, and with both of us having the growth and you know what I'm saying, that we've been having throughout our, everything we've been doing, you feel me? So it's gonna be crazy, I know it is. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I'm looking so, forward to that. I heard you still, you still got more heat as you gonna drop off this mixtape, right? Uh, yeah, man, for sure, for sure. I still got more heat that I'm gonna drop from. Uh, I'm still, I'm really working on videos right now for what I just dropped, and I'm, I'm working on another album I'm gonna drop with Southside. You feel me? Yeah. Southside about to drop an album okay. next year. That's gonna lead up to my debut album, Humble B. So I'm just really cooking, bro. Just working, trying what? to get these vids out. What's next? Would you would you like to would you take a movie role or something like that? If somebody get yeah, a movie man, role. I'm, I'm working. I'm trying to really just show that I'm well rounded. And I'm I, if I do take a movie role, I know for sure I gotta focus. You know what I'm saying? And put my mm -hmm. all in 100 percent. Cause I rehearsed. I mean, I really was rehearsing for a movie, and I tried. I did an audition tape. 
that Common helped me with for um it was for Barbershop 3 actually, but I was, you know what I'm saying, like, alright, I'ma just rehearse for it and then finish doing what I'm doing, you know. So I know if I do really get into any movie role, I'ma have to really, you know what I'm saying, focus on it. And Common showed me that he was really rehearsing with me and I just really got in my mind from him doing that. He he put me in a whole nother place just the way he blanked out from being him, just us in the studio to whatever role he was playing, you know what I'm saying? So I know I really gotta focus on it, but yeah, that's something I consider for sure. Yeah, it's you, just gonna make me a better entertainer. You be deep into your fashion. Yeah. Did you ever think about dipping off into some of that too? Oh yeah, man. I ain't gonna lie. That's what I really I wanna do that for sure. Like I'll probably do that sooner than I do any music, you know what I'm saying? Any duo fashion clothing, like I'll be going crazy on Calvin Klein, of course Air Force One, you know. Yeah, they need to give you give you your I'm own shoe, man. I'm keep on pushing at them. I'm gonna keep pushing at them, you know, because I the, the ones ain't going nowhere. That's so right. So I'm really just like super, super, super focused on everything I'm doing, you know. So if I get into clothing, I'm gonna make sure I'm still focused 100 percent on all the business I gotta do with that, 100 percent on the business I gotta do with any movie along with the music. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna just have to lock in and focus on everything, you feel me? But you can't have too much on your plate, but you still, you know what I'm saying? That's true. Put your all into everything that you into. You heard that? Yeah. That's true right there. Well, we ain't got to tell everybody where to follow you at. Yeah. Everybody in the city of Chicago already know where you at. Yeah, man. For the, for a shorty that's coming up now that looks up to you that wants to be that next G Herbo in the game and, you know, with all the madness going out here yeah. right now, what would you tell him to keep him inspired? Um, I, I do this all the time, really, just with all the shorties or any, you know what I'm saying, young, 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 you know what I'm saying, young homie that's really doing anything is whether it's music in school playing basketball i just be trying to tell them really keep faith you know what i'm saying anything that you want to do and you feel like this is what you love and whatever your heart is just stick to it you know what i'm saying rather rather you not um being successful with it right now or what you know what i'm saying it's really just about keeping faith and making a sacrifice even that small sacrifice where you feel like this something you don't want to do because it ain't even you but you know it's going better you or better whatever you're trying to get yourself to do you know it's just about making that small sacrifice i had to learn the hard way so that's why i tell kids that just so they won't have to learn the way that i learned you got to make that small sacrifice you got to put that extra 10 20 30 minutes whether it's an hour or whatever into what you're doing you know what i'm saying that 30 minutes that you're putting into something else you need to put that into yourself you feel me because that's going to be the difference in whether you're successful or not right, bro so, bro you, you there, man. You came a long way, man. I'm happy to see all the success you had. You know what I'm saying? I'm happy yeah. you're away from these fools out here, man. And keep doing what you're doing because you on your way, brother. Love, bro. I'm trying, man. Yeah. I'm just trying to stay out the way. Hey, you already know we got an open door policy for you. So whenever you drop, oh, Mickey, sure. get it to us early. You know, this the house, man. This the only man. place I really feel like I'm at home. Yeah. So, you know, you it know. ain't no question. You are. It's Mickey, no question. send that music because we ain't got to get no playlists and crew <laughs> and all that. You bring that over here, yeah. man. Fresh, hot off the press, man. We're going to drop that joint. We're going to look forward to this new mixtape you got coming up with Bibby and, and just more singles, man, from that. You know, but, I ain't going nowhere, bro. All right, we definitely appreciate you. G Herbo in the building, man. Rick Radio. Nathan's, let's get it. Power 92. 92.3 FM.